Settle, get comfortable, adjust your head, all that stuff. I know, I know. <laughs> I studied electrical engineering at uh, Flinders University. I was actually fortunate enough to do my third year placement um, at, at SA Power Networks. The role I'm doing right now, Head of Network Operations, has traditionally not been someone similar to me in terms of technical background. It's been a really good opportunity and I've been supported every step of the way. I was part of what was called the international recruitment. From being a trainee, I progressed to become a fully-fledged network project officer, rising to a position of being the senior MPO. I really liked the idea of coming to SA Power Networks because it was something tangible, so we keep the lights on for South Australians, and that for me meant something. I joined because someone I knew said there's apprenticeships at SA Power Networks. At the time, I was quite happy with my job. I thought, no, I don't need that. And then I thought, well, actually, it's, it's a career, not just a job. And so I applied, and I'm very glad I did. Uh, the reason why I joined SA Power Networks, um, I saw it as a big organisation uh, with great opportunities. SA Power Networks has always been a little bit of a special place for our family, with um, my dad working here for nearly uh, 40 years too. So um, it, it seemed like a fantastic fit. The ability that we have every day to make decisions that impact the lives of South Australians. Making changes to the systems, the processes, um, and actually seeing some really tangible outcomes on the other side of that. As a senior leader, being able to work with your team, hear their ideas and initiatives, and help see them through the implementation to improve the business is, is, is very satisfying to do. Supporting those people in moving to other roles across the business and introducing them to new people. Mentoring the young ones that come through, the, the less skilled. Culture is a living thing, it's constantly changing and moving, but if I had to call SA Power Networks culture anything, it would be nurturing and challenging. It means camaraderie, uh, it means support. There's something really unifying about getting the power back on after a big storm and it brings everyone together working for a common purpose. We've got people in my team who've worked 30, 40 years as well, and, they, and you see that right across the business and they're always willing to sit down, book in a time with you to sit down and chat and train you up. I can just be me and I'm supported to be there and the people around me are exactly the same. I feel very, uh, very empowered to speak um, whatever it is that I'm thinking. Um, one of our key principles here is to challenge and be challenged. We challenge the process if we don't think it's right to improve the way we do things. The collaborative, caring nature of, you know, the workplace and the people that we work with is why I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> The thing I value most about working at SA Power Networks is the camaraderie. Um, we've got a great team. 19 years you meet a lot of people, you know a lot, a lot of people and you, you start to develop some really good friendships and relationships. For me it's really important to have a work-life balance. I'm really lucky to have flexibility, even working from home or if I can start late some mornings and stay a bit later if I need to. My previous role was in an organisation that had minimal safety standards. So I value the safety processes and procedures that are in place within the business. They care that you go home safely to your family every day. Family is key to me and I think it's very important. SA Power has this unique way of looking after their people and therefore the people look after the business in return. We practice what we preach and um, we give people opportunities to do different things. And, and that's something that I really, really appreciate about working here.